It's sports yeah. direct. And like everyone wants to be on camera. <laughs> no, not everybody, do they? Everyone's you want to be on camera. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then over there is New Look. He's over there, which is quite popular. But as we come into the centre here, we, um, we find a paved area which they have to keep repaving because. In fact, the town centre is sinking, so they have to keep doing it. And uh, looks like there's someone around here too. There's a nice sculpture there, and this is Heinz. But uh, there you go. I don't know where that music's coming from. Sorry? I don't know, there's Santander over there, which we come out of, so it's such a crap one. And there's a bloke playing an instrument over there. And happy well, back to here we are. Continuing our uh, tour of Stevenage, we're at the Oval, and uh, look at this. This mural is in the underpass, and um, it's quiet. Uh, right, that's right. There's a gent just walking past. The man just now, he said, "Don't you find that scary?" He said, "The, the squirrel, the size." Of the size to the boy, which is a bit scary, come to think of it. <laughs> it's quite Next funny. Yeah, but look, it's, a, it's so beautiful, this. It really is the blue bell wood. Oh, it's gorgeous. And all that. Nothing scary, baby. So, uh, I don't think so. Lovely. You don't find it scary, do you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> and here we are at the Oval. And there's Martins. There's our butchers over there. That's where yeah. we're going in a minute. And yeah. We go there because uh, we got fed up with getting crap meat <laughs> crap meat from the from the supermarkets yeah uh, it had mold on so now we get fresh meat from the, from the butchers and this is the best butchers in Stevenage in our opinion and that's uh, at the over here and then we've got the chip shop up there and we've got the co-op here which we use occasionally and right down the bottom is what we call Aladdin's Cave and it's a little shop where you can get just about everything but uh, we're going to go to the butchers there aren't we Boo? Yeah we do. And this is the oval so there you go and looking the other way the Climbs Club is up there which is quite an institution in Stevenage. So uh, there you go. Cover the shops there this is what I was telling you about there. That's the, uh, the Climbs Club which is here which uh, so is a very popular meeting place here. We come so. down from that end back down to the, right at the bottom, this is what we were talking about at the beginning of the, the Aladdin's Cave we call this, I don't know what the name of it is, there's no name on the shop, but you can get just about everything there, we're going in there for a bowl at the moment, aren't we boo? Yeah, yeah. Right, so, <laughs> there you go, this is Aladdin's Cave, so I recommend it, at the Oval, get anything, if you can't get it anywhere else, you get it here, <laughs> guarantee. Well there yeah. you go, there's, so there's the chip shop, there's the Oval Wines, if you there's a bit of <laughs> boozing and on this side there's the carpet shop there Handy. right oh, yes look at that Isn't that lovely it's lovely carpet there look at that anyway and uh, over there and there's where we're going right now which is our favorite butchers in, in Stevenage so that's where we're going now isn't it boo Yay. get some meat right. Cleaners and um, there's the Chinese as well, but uh, for an old git like me that has to use the toilet a lot, it's handy because you've got the community centre here. And uh, I didn't even realise it, my right, darling wife Nikki, because I was <laughs> diuretic, so I had to um, go a bit sharpish, and you could get the toilets in there, which is handy. So, right now we're off again. Yay! <laughs> Yeah. 
here we are at uh, Poachford Shops and um, there's the pharmacy which I've known to the shop for years and uh, I've used to be there and there's the uh, Pied Piper pub which was one of the was actually opened by the Queen I'm told yes it was so there you go and this is a block of flats there there we are, I'm Ross, isn't it, Bo? Yeah, you're right, hi. <laughs> now, here we are in the old town of Stevenage, quite a historic place. There's the old Red Lion there, um, and right up there. And there, Albert Street, there, is where I used to live. <laughs> They've disappeared, right? But over at Albert Street is where I used to live many, many years ago. <laughs> And um, over here, get away. <laughs> you're getting out of the way, and along here, <laughs> in Albert Street, is where, but, but at the moment, sadly, sadly, there's uh, where that road is now and the florist is there, that's, we used to be my cottage, not before Albert Street, but there you go, this is where I used to live when we first moved to Stevenage with Dorothy in Albert Street. Uh, TJ's Cafe, the Workman's Cafe, and um, Dima's, which is here, you see all the stuff here, look. Now, this has been here ever since I can remember it, so, you know, we even used to get some of our uh, machines uh, repaired by Dima when we lived at, uh, when we were at, um, Gearings, when I worked for Gearings, so uh, this is Stevens, and uh, as you see, quite a, an old historic building. And uh, there's Simmons, which is another old baker's that was in Stevenage. So, um, and over there is the Draper's Arms, right next to the Red Lion. So, and then we're going to go in a minute when Deborah comes out from getting something, a pasture or something, I don't know, and we're going to go around the corner there to the cafe. See you right. So from Demers, we come down here, and this is uh, uh, back way um, here in Stevenage, the Jade Palace. <laughs> and um, yes, quite back street, I mean, before this. And uh, yeah, quite historic, historic place. This is, certainly is. Here, right. the old town now bar. Now down here, when we had switchboard going, um, right on the corner, which is now an Oxford shop, I believe, uh, that used to be um, a record shop and uh, Ripple Records, <laughs> and uh, we used they used to sell switchboard in there. And also Coda Music, which is over there, they used to sell, and it's still, still the same people run that as when we used to have Switchboard. They used to sell a lot of copies of Switchboard there, and right, right, okay. right down there we've got this. <laughs> and Deborah's trying to keep out of the way. <laughs> you don't mind, boo, do you? <laughs> and now we go down here, aren't we? The Coda Music. Um, that goes back into the Waitrose over there, and uh, along here, there's, I think, the little cafe that we're going to. Is down here, is it, Deborah? No, it's over there. Oh, it's down that way? Yes. Well, oh, I nearly got Deb in then. <laughs> oh, we can't have that. <laughs> TLC, the estate shop. This is... <laughs> this is Baker Street, is it? I don't know. Oh, there you are, Baker Street. And, um, <laughs> and this is where we are actually going to uh, Baker Street. There you are. And that's where we're, we're going in here in a minute, I believe. Baker Street. There you are. So that's our little tour. Now I'll wait for Nikki and Deborah to come down. Uh, that's Baker Street. And... Uh, 
here, and there's, there's Nicky over there. There's the toilets here, which is handy for an old git like me. And, um, and there's the rest of the post street down there. So, uh, there we are. That's, that's a historic old town. Now, this <laughs> building here is a really old building. And um, it's the coffin of Henry Trigg. It's purported to be here. I think it's been moved now, but it was left on the rafters. And uh, if we zoom in here, you can see. There we are. Look at that. <laughs> Tells you all about it. There you go. And uh, so there's a lot of history in Stevenage, but. For some reason or other, the council seem to ignore a lot of it. You know, Clarence Elliott, for example, who was one of the greatest horticulturists in history, had his Six Hills nursery here, and yet they uh, they choose to ignore it. In fact, they've destroyed the nursery and built a cottage on it, and it doesn't even know his name on it. But that's Stevenage Council for you. But it shows you how old this place is. Henry Twig. Isn't that amazing? So there you go. That's the old town. And yeah, and I lived here when I first moved to Stevenage. So here we are in Baker Street. It's a lovely little cat and uh, cafe. And um, yeah, really nice. I recommend it. And there's an upstairs as well. Very tiny, but it's lovely. And there we are. And there's another cat box here, apparently. But this is lovely. There you go. Here we are in the old town. There we go. And then off we go to where? Uh, Pete. Here we are. Ta da! Yeah, and this piece used to be the street where I lived. And all along here was a proper road so you could actually bring cars up and down here, uh, which continued on that road there. In fact, it says Elder Street up there. That road across wasn't there at all there. And my house was just about where this florist is now. <laughs> this used to be my house. And opposite, over there where the road is now, used to be a guy who used to make, believe it or not, fake antique furniture. <laughs> he used to do That's funny. Victorian furniture, stain it. And you used to put little tiny drill holes in it to make it look like woodwork, to make it look authentic. And, um, and, and that was it. And uh, Les Bryce used to live up the road there as well in another cottage, because these were all cottages then. And he worked with me on the council, and he used to bring vegetables for us for free. He just used to bring vegetables from his allotment, because he used to grow too many. So there you go. So this is where Great. we used to live. Brilliant. Okay. Yay. Bye. Cheers. See ya. <laughs>